Welcome to The Startup, I'm Rebecca Jarvis. And we're joined by Leslie James Seymour. She is editor-in-chief of More Magazine. It's great to have you with Good us. Good to be here. Nice to be here. This is a position you've been in for about five years now, but you yes. started oh in magazines in what, 78? Yes, 1978, actually in trade newspapers. <laughs> I walked off the plane from college and I started work at Women's Wear Daily. And I went from there to Harper's Bazaar and then I spent nine years at Vogue and then I left there and I went to Glamour Magazine as their beauty director and then I started running magazines and I ran a teen book called YM, Red Book, which was for young moms, and then I ran Mary Claire USA <laughs> for five years and then I've been doing more for five years. So when you look back yes. on these last couple of decades of the magazine industry, yes. what's changed the most and, and what do you see as that future then? Oh my goodness. I mean, talk about, uh, talk about an industry that is going through a cataclysm, really. Is it dead? It is. It's not dead, no. What's so interesting is when I started the business, the entire, biz, the entire pizza pie was print. What's interesting now is print is never going to die, but it is going to be one or two slices of that pizza pie. And then you've got digital, and then you've got TV, and then you've got video, and then you've got all kinds of other promotions and ways of reaching the consumer or the consumer buying things. And what I firmly believe is the, the whole concept of curation, which is really mm -hmm. what magazines are about. Now, I'm not talking about news magazines. News magazines are a whole other animal, and they are being replaced because you can't move that quickly in print at all to keep up with the news cycle. But if you're not doing news, if you're doing any kind of hobby, if you're doing any kind of leisure activity, if you're doing fashion or beauty, the big problem is, oh my God, I walk into the store and I'm just paralyzed by the thousands of items out there. How do I find what's right for me? And curation is really what magazines are about. It's my eye, it's my knowing you're my customer mm -hmm. and you're not the same as that other customer over there. And how do I get you to that purple turtleneck faster and better than my competitor? And how do I know you want the purple turtleneck and not a red one? Which is a buzzword. I mean, right. this, is, this is the way when you think about the world of startups, and right. in particular the retail startups, right. oh, yeah. curation, oh, yeah. targeting, oh, yeah. these are all part of it. And from what you're saying, it almost sounds like the magazine industry has been doing that for years. It needs oh. to think about how it does that and how it can translate to the future Absolutely. to survive. Absolutely, and curation is what we do, what editors have been brought up to do. And it, and it may be curation in terms of articles, what do you want to read about? It may be curation in terms of um, you know places you want to go, where do you want to mm -hmm. travel to. It can be curation of many different things, but it can, a lot of it is curation of what to buy. What's your best advice and what's yes. the skill set that would make someone stand out for a job in magazines at this point in time? Right. Well, magazines, what I talk about, again, the idea of a magazine to me is no longer print. I run the magazine, I run the digital side, I do the um, social media, so it's, not, it's no longer print. If you think of it that way, you can have many different skill sets. But what you need to do is, if you're young and you're getting out of school, you must go digital. You must know how to code. You must start in the digital area. You can always go backwards into print. And in fact, what we're seeing a lot now is um, print products coming off the web. And mm -hmm. you're seeing them come off TV. I mean, look at you know the Food Network magazine. I mean, you're seeing things go backwards instead of forward from print. And so it's better to be on that side of it now. You can always back your way into print. But don't, if you start over in print, you're gonna be very limited. So I encourage all, all you know, kids who are interested in magazines as brands and magazines as the idea of I'm going to curate an experience for you on any screen. It could be on your phone, it could be on an iPad, it could be on the web, or it could be in print. Mm -hmm. Start digital. And if you're young today, remember that you know, before you're 30, between 20 and 30, they expect you're going to have seven jobs. Seven jobs yeah, from 20 to 30. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, it's a lot, mm -hmm. and so um, you're going to be moving around a lot. I have a son who's just graduating from college, and um, we were trying to figure out where he's going to you know, look for his first job, and he's like, finally got on the phone with me and said, I feel totally paralyzed. I said, why? I said, just, just you know, what are pick your something. interests? Where I pick something. He said, I don't know what I want to do for the rest of my life. I said, honey, <laughs> two years. Yeah. It's a two-year window. 
don't get so, you know, like mm -hmm. whatever you start out doing here in this kind of world, you may be doing a totally, absolutely different thing. Your job in might not years. exist in two years, Who knows? or there might be a brand new job that you're it's suited very, for in two years. It's a very, you know, quickly moving kind of mm -hmm. world. But you really have to stay true to who you are, and you really have to know what are the things that matter to you in your life and who you are. Because I think, I think the until I found that, I was always kind of looking for my job to give me that. Mm -hmm instead of imposing it on your job right it's right exactly instead of finding a way to make my job do that for me mm -hmm. and i think a lot of young people sit around saying but it doesn't do that for me or right. it doesn't it doesn't you know it doesn't supply that for me and then if it doesn't if your job doesn't supply it you can go outside and do things on the weekend or mm -hmm. things in the evening i mean in so many of the jobs now what's wonderful again when i started out there was not the give back aspect of a lot of organizations. Mm -hmm. These things are very important today. Yeah. And sort of the holistic kind of living and learning. And and the other thing for, for women I really have to say, which is still true and I and I, I think a lot of women don't even realize it, is that there is still unfortunately I you know this thing of sit and wait till somebody gives it to you. Yeah. You know, the men are always up there going, you know, what's next for me? What's mm -hmm. next for me? You know, I deserve a promotion. They always deserve. And it's funny because even I can interview, you know, I can interview the biggest women out there, you know, women who are running countries, and they always talk about, you know, I was so lucky to end up in this spot. And when you hmm. talk to men, they're always like, you know, I put myself in that spot. I earned it. Yeah, I earned it. But women always talk about luck. And I think, you know, I hope that younger women keep that in mind and say, it's not luck. I hard put work. myself there and it's hard work. And yes, maybe luck had a little teeny bit to do with mm -hmm. it. But, you know, we never give ourselves, we never give ourselves the credit that we deserve. I think the more that people like yourself speak out and use platforms like More Magazine, oh, the yeah. more likely people are to hear it and to really internalize it and, and make changes, real changes. Right. It's really nice chatting with you. Nice Thank you to so see much. You. Great. Leslie Jane Seymour, More Magazine. Thanks. Good. Thanks. And thank you for watching us on The Startup. Remember, if there's someone you'd like to see here, tweet us at Rebecca Jarvis, hashtag The Startup.